What's up you guys, Navicon here. I'm sorry it's been it has been a while since I've uploaded a video. Uh, yeah, um college has been, I've college has been screwed uh, has been really busy with college and I finally got a got a job. So yeah, it's it, I've been really busy and I didn't not have time to for to upload a new video. But now that I'm done with but now that I've done with college for like the the rest of the sem for like the rest of the semester I'll be going back on January but for my for the rest of the time I'm back for the for the meantime and today I will be reviewing Fire Emblem Three Houses it was it was released on June July twenty sixth two thousand and nineteen it received favorable reviews with critics praising the game's ambition and willingness to take the risk of the series' formula. And while the gameplay, the music, characters, and the story were praised, the graphics received negative reviews for being low quality, despite having an artistic design. The game was extremely successful sales-wise, selling almost 3 million copies, making it the best-selling Fire Emblem game. The game revolves around a silent protagonist named Byleth. You can make the protag into a, f a male or a female. Anyways, they meet with his with their father named Gerald, where they get caught up in a battle with bandits, but they are not alone. They also meet the leaders to represent their countries throughout the continent of Fodland. <laughs> the leaders are Claude, who is who leads the Golden Deer, Dimitri, leader of the Blue Lions, and Edelgard, leader of the Black Eagles. They meet together at the Garrick Mock Monastery. Claude, Dimitri, and Edelgard are students, and Byleth is set up to be a professor in the monastery. It's basically a university, but you must choose between the eagles, the deer, or the lions. I, I, I chose the golden deer because Claude was a pretty big standout for me. If you played other Fire Emblem games, you know what to expect in the gameplay perspective, although there are a few changes. The weapon triangle system that Fire Emblem fans are very familiar with, that mechanic is removed in Three Houses, which makes Three Houses an easier experience. What do you like that is what do you like that or not is up to you. Introduced in Awakening, you will use any character you use, even if they died in one of your missions. Yeah, before Awakening came and saved the franchise, if a member has been defeated, they stay dead for the rest of the game. Although, that mechanic is still there in Three Houses, if you want a harder experience. Three Houses is honestly my favorite, is so far my favorite game in the series. The only Fire Emblem game I finished is Awakening. While I do like that game, a lot of the characters didn't stand out to me, aside from Robin, Crom, and, and Lisa. <laughs> uh, almost all the char- and Three Houses, I love almost all the characters. A lot of them have really, r really distinct personalities. Even- even Bi- even Byleth was a- for a solid protagonist, I actually like Byleth. Somehow. <laughs> they made him- they made them actually pretty likable. The and the the music is the soundtrack is is really good. Some of my favorite tracks are uh Fodlin Winds and uh, especially the final track the final track of the game for Golden Deer specifically, which is God Shattering Star. Oh my god, that is a final that is a final boss music if I hear one myself. Uh there I actually do like the I actually do like the story. It's it's kind of a risk it's kind of a risk taking move for for intelligent systems. Yeah, intelligent systems were the developers of the game. They they also made they also made a uh, uh, WarioWare get it together, uh the Paper Mario games and they used to they used to make Golden Sun back in the back in the day. No, I'm not. I'm not sure if that franchise will ever return, but I just, I just thought you would, you would know that. But overall, but overall, this is, this is a really. I actually really like this game. This is, 
This is a really good game. Although, I I do know that I am aware of the fact that there are there are a some people don't want to play this game because Byleth was is a playable character in Super Smash Brothers Ultimate. Which if they don't if they don't want to play it because of that, it's their choice. I'm not I'm not gonna judge them for that. But I just want to put that out. I just want to put that out there because air this this game is pretty hated because of because of that. So it's unfortunate, but well, there's nothing you can do about it. But if you are interested, I would definitely check it out. It's it's a really good it's a really good role playing game, a tactical role playing game. It's not turn based. No, though. For anyone that has played Fire Emblem Three Houses, what are your thoughts on the game? Do you like it? Do you hate it? Let me know in the comments down below. Make sure you subscribe to my channel if you haven't. And make sure you follow my Discord, Instagram, and Twitter down in the description down below. This is Namicon, and I'll see you next time.